Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This video is going to be a little description of how I learned to, to script in PowerShell. It is by no means like the, the only way to do it, but it, it's simply the, the path that, that I've followed to get the skills that, that, that I have. Before I dive in, I want to uh, remind you if you enjoy the content of the video, make sure you click like and also subscribe to the channel, ring the bell when you do, so that way you can be aware of when new content comes available. And, and as always, I wanna welcome back um, current subscribers to the channel. Hopefully you'll, you'll find this video useful um, for you or at the very least entertaining, maybe. I'm not sure how entertaining talking about learning how to script is, but you know, Perhaps you're, you're, you're geeks like me and you, you, you enjoy that kind of thing. So the, the path to, to, to learning to script, as, as uh, I guess like majestic as that sounds, no, I'm kidding, um, there, there, there's no one right way to do it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about what I did, but just know that you know, if your path varies from mine, you know, you're doing it uh, correctly you know there, there, there is no the only way to, to learn the script is to do what I do one thing to note I am NOT a master of, of PowerShell by any means but I do know my way around um, decently well and and, and part of, 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 of what I know and this comes through experience is learning how to figure out things in, in, in PowerShell I'm very much task oriented or or uh, well that's 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 the truth I am a task oriented person but as as I learned how to use PowerShell I, I did it through needing to 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 do tasks I can remember some of my earliest experiences with PowerShell were um, with managing um, tasks with exchange online at, at one of my previous jobs and what I would do is all right I want to um, like set a forwarding SMTP address on on a, on a mailbox in Exchange Online. Well, trying to, try to remember off the top of my head is probably like set mailbox, um, and then there'll be a parameter for forwarding SMTP address, and then you put in the address for that. But the the process of figuring that out, which was all right, so consult Dr. Google. How do you set forwarding on the mailbox? You will probably be sent to a page that talks about the set mailbox commandlet, and then you can read the documentation there and try it out and, and see if it works. That that was the the main method that, that I used. I didn't do a lot of you know formal PowerShell training as much as I I learned what I needed to know as 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 I needed it. But at the same time. And this is this is something that I, I, I think is, is is important is as as you're learning and, and if you're learning in a um, task based method that I am, what you want to do is kind of make sure you're, you're you're doing it right. Now, right is um, ambiguous, but at the same time, um, Take that little bit of extra effort, and oh, you, you know, you've consulted Dr. Google. You see, set mailbox is the way to do this. Perhaps consult another source to see if if, if the recommendation is, is the same. This will become a thing when you start doing like write host versus write verbose in in, in your scripts. Those are two two very different things that um, that have different things going on as far as data types and such. Now that's that's some some fairly in advanced stuff but the 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 concept is still there is at, as as you're learning don't take your one source as like the gospel truth about powershell compare it to other sources to see maybe there's there's there, there's a better way of doing something now even though i'm i'm i was task based with 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 how i learned i did use other resources as well um I didn't use a particular book, and, and, and if you're, you're, you're looking for a book about it, I've heard really good things about the PowerShell in a Month of Lunches book. Um, I can't recall the author of it off, off the top of my head, but I'm sure if you um, ask Dr. Google about PowerShell in a Month of Lunches, you'll, you'll be able to find it. I've heard great things about that book as far as kind of taking you from very, very beginner to, to, to learning some, some good concepts about PowerShell. Another thing that I did... Um, and I, I'm not sure if this is still around or not. This was um, for PowerShell 3. Um, the Microsoft Virtual Academy had a video series about, uh, I think it was called PowerShell Basics or PowerShell for, for Beginners. And it was um, uh, 
it was loosely based around that PowerShell uh, in, in the month of lunches book. But one of the neat things was that um, Jeffrey Snover was uh, one of the, the people doing the video. And, and if you're brand new to PowerShell and you don't know who Jeffrey Snover is, look him up. Um, you'll, you'll see he's, he's, he's pretty important to, to the world of PowerShell and also seems like a pretty nice guy, or at least he, he, he did in those videos and, and, and does on his, his, his Twitter feed. But uh, I use that video series to kind of give me some, some basics upon which to, to, to build to then go after, you know, researching, do, doing tasks. If you are absolutely brand new to PowerShell, I, I, I would recommend using one of these kind of resources to kind of get your feet wet with the environment of, of, of PowerShell. And what I mean by that is, you know, don't expect to become a scripting master from this, but through those resources, you'll learn like, what PowerShell is. You'll learn the idea of commandlets are um, verb dash noun, you know, get AD user, get mailbox. Um, those, those, those kind of commandlets are going to be giving you information that's in, you know, in, in, in the, the, the PowerShell session. Set dash whatever. Those commands are um, likely going to be altering configurations to something. You know, add whatever. You'll be making new things. Remove whatever. Deleting things. Um, learning, learning about s some of that basic stuff is useful for giving you enough information to then research actual tasks that you that you um, need to to do and that you're wanting to to, to learn how to do with within um, PowerShell. Otherwise, if you don't know any real basics like that, you'll you'll probably be pretty inefficient with looking up information. And that's exactly what, what, what I did with, with, with learning. You know, I, I tried to be task-based, but as I was learning tasks, I would use the, the, these other resources. I didn't just rely on get-help and like, beat my head against the wall until I finally figured something out. No, I've, I would try to be smart about it and, 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 and use, use other resources. What you'll find is as your experience grows, and even at the, the beginning levels of scripting with PowerShell, you'll find that a lot of tasks that, 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 that you're doing are similar in nature to where you're not using the exact same commandlets for every task, but let's say that there's some new problem that's put in front of you and you know you, you, you want to, to do it in PowerShell. Well, you might recognize, hey, this looks similar to something I've done in the past, all right? And see, being able to recognize that similarity will probably make researching what you need to do to be able to do this new task easier and, 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 and faster. One, one other suggestion I have for you as far as you know, where to start with, with, with learning to, to script with PowerShell, and this, this kind of goes in hand with everything I've said so far, but it's make yourself use it. Um, my, my most recent job, I've, I've gained a good bit with, with, with my uh, PowerShell skills, and one of the ways I did that was really for the first couple of months, um, and I, 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 I still do this to this day, but, but for the first couple of months, ever how slow it made me, because I, I knew that I had a little bit of, the way obviously you have to do work at the very beginning of your job, but most jobs in IT usually, hey, you would hopefully get a, a, a a little bit of time to get your feet wet, and I kind of took took that opportunity to make myself do stuff in PowerShell, stuff that I mean I could easily go to like 80 users and computers, double click a user and do whatever. I would I would take the effort to learn how to do that using using PowerShell, and eventually through that kind of in, in immersion method, I became more comfortable with PowerShell. Not that I've mastered it, not that I can rattle off top of my head some complex script to do but I became comfortable enough with it to be able to to do the the research but un unless you make yourself do that the odds of you especially in with, 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 with PowerShell since since a, a lot of our our tools and such still have GUI e equivalents until you make yourself do that Odds are you're 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 not going to take the time to 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 learn how to do it with PowerShell. So uh, I, I would say you know make yourself do it and kind of take a PowerShell first approach to things. 
you know, hey, I can do this in the GUI, or not, not, not necessarily that, but hey, you need to do this. All right, so figure it out first in PowerShell, and then see what the, the GUI equivalent is. The last tip I have for you, not that I was necessarily counting off tips, but, um, and this, this is something that I've, I, I did fairly early on with, with, with learning PowerShell, is taking people's scripts and figuring out what they do rather than, hey, I get a script from the internet and I'm just gonna run it, and because it says it'll, it'll, it'll do what I want to do, I recommend not doing that in production by any means. Don't run anything in production unless you know exactly what it's going to do, ever how tempting as, 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 as it may be. Um, this is a little bonus tip I had. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen some job interviews where, um, where candidates have answered a question, and it's like, hey, I'll, find a script on, on the internet and run it and never mention anything about um, like make sure the script does what it does or anything like that and that hurt them in a, a job interview because we're like we're not going to turn you loose on production stuff if you just you know run random scripts without knowing what's going on but anyway that's a bit um, outside the scope but kind of pro tip there check your scripts but as far as the learning aspect of it that can be um, in invaluable tool and as, as 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 you're looking at scripts ask yourself why did the the author write the script the way that they did because something that you're going to realize as you gain more experience with powershell is that there there is often more than one way to to, to do a task so you'll, you'll be faced with choices you know why do it this way versus versus that way and that that can be helpful for you. Um, what I'd like to do is, is walk you through a, 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 a real basic script and show you what it does and kind of give you an, an example of, of what I'm talking about as far as you, you find a script on, on, on the internet to analyze and, 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 and learn how, how things work. So we're going to head over to my uh, GitLab page, which right now I only have one script up there, but I'll be adding more as, as I do some more videos about PowerShell and such. And plus, just as I, I mess around and, and, and find stuff that works, I'll sanitize my, my scripts and, and, and put them up there. So let's head over to GitLab. So this is my GitLab um, profile page. Now I'll put a link to this in the, uh, the, 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 the description of the video. And if I go into personal projects, I have my PowerShell general. And this is the script that I have here. It's a little AD password reset. Now notice there's not much to this script. Uh, I think one common issue that um, folks that are new to PowerShell um, do is try to do like too complex of stuff too soon. There, 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 there's no need to to do that. I mean, start simple. You can always get 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 as complex as you want. But what's going on in the script? And this 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 is an example script that that you might find on the the internet if you're like, hey, I want to reset someone's password in an Active Directory. What I'm doing in this script is I'm setting a variable. And I'm calling that Sam account name. And what this is doing, uh, read host is a commandlet that that you can uh, read about, and it'll accept input from from a user at the command line in PowerShell, and it also will give a message of enter the AD username for password reset. The next thing it's going to do is run the set AD account password commandlet. Now this script assumes that whatever user account that you're you're running as has rights to alter user users in um, in AD. So the uh, so that's this one thing to, to keep in mind as, as as you're learning PowerShell is your user account needs to to be able to to do the things that you're requesting it to do. It's very tempting to always run stuff as administrator and I'll admit this particular thing even though it says it was authored 34 minutes ago. This is a little snippet that I've that I've made years and years ago that I've, I've just put up here and um, and this was back when I was like gallivanting as my domain administrator account all the time until I learned how to not always have to be a domain administrator but still be able to do these kind of tasks. Anyway, so this is going to do set ad uh, account password. It's going to use 
it's going to use the username that you would have just fed the script and then for new password I'm doing what's called a little subscript within these um, these parentheses we're doing read host again and then I have the as secure string parameter and in the uh, upper right I'll, I'll put a little pop out to a video I made a while back explaining you know why we have to do the as secure string and this read host is going to prompt the prompt you to feed it a password and you'll feed it that that password and then the dash reset changes that um, that that password so one other thing that this script does is it sets that same user it sets the change password at logon to be true now this is an example of don't just run it because you see it on the internet maybe you don't want to have that happen now generally that's 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 not the case generally you would want to have the, the user have to change their password right after they've they are right after you you have set it for them but this is an example of before you run this you need to to read the script and, and, and figure out what's what's going on from the learning perspective what a simple script like this would be teaching you is how to set a val uh, value to a variable on top of that how to to interactively get what that var that uh, value is and so you could potentially run the script rather than having to like have it open in an editor manually change the value of this variable and then run the rest of the script the script also shows you using different um, commandlets and utilizing the the variable that that you you set with it so um, again when you're when you're learning to script taking another person's script and and breaking it down can be can be useful for you and asking yourself you know why have they chosen these particular commandlets is there a, a, a different more efficient way to to do the thing that you want to do let's say that with this you know hey we're doing this with with single users let's say that we have some company-wide thing and we're gonna reset every user's password you can then take this script and kind of figure out are there ways that I can either like loop through a bunch of users using this script you, you can take something like this and 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 build on it and and um, learn quite frankly so as always I tend to be a bit long-winded but when I'm passionate about something I, I'll, I'll go on and on about it so I, I hope you found uh, this useful for you as far as me describing how, how, how I learned a script which is basically just do tasks and figure out kind of a, a, as, a, as you go along and then use resources while you do that to, to, to learn the the uh, the right way to, to do things if you found the video useful make sure you click like on it also uh, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell feel free to, to, to leave comments um, in particular if you have some questions about PowerShell or if you take exception to to um, how uh, how I, I do things I'll, I'll take criticism as well if it's something that I can uh, use to help you know make me a better user of PowerShell and a better IT professional by all means I'll I'll, I'll, I'll do it also um, check out my uh, GitLab page as as I'm doing some, some more projects and such things that that, that that I am able to sanitize and share I'll be putting that up there um, as well so feel, feel, feel free to, to use it and, and learn from it as always thank you for taking the time to watch and I'll see you the next time